where should the Palestinians go? Well, you know, they should be going through the Rafah gate and Egypt take them. But I've always said that, you know, what you should have is they should go to pro-Hamas countries, Qatar, Iran. You know, if you send them there, Turkey, those are pro-Hamas countries. That's where they should go. But they're on the run for their lives, taking whatever they can, their kids in tow. They're not able to get into Egypt. How are you supposed to even make it to Qatar at this point? Isn't that telling that Egypt won't take them? Why won't Egypt take them? Because they don't trust which ones are terrorists and which ones aren't. It's a sad state of affairs. But it, the reality of that evil is very clear in Arab countries, too. Arab countries have very much always been cautious and know the threats that Iran can place. They don't want those terrorist proxies coming after them. Saudi Arabia felt the Houthis in that fight for Yemen. Egypt knows exactly what they can do. But instead of the world hitting on Israel, who was brought to her knees in the worst in invasion since the Holocaust, why isn't everybody talking to Egypt? Why aren't they talking to Turkey? Why aren't they talking to Qatar? Why aren't they talking to Iran? Why aren't they doing something to help the Palestinians? If that's the case, why is it you come back to Israel and the U.S.? It's always the case. Everybody loves to help Israel when she's hit. But all of a sudden, they hit, they, they're quick to, to beat up on Israel when she hits back. If that had happened to America, do you not think we would have hit back? But where are the friends of those pro-Hamas people? Where are the friends of Gaza? They should be the ones doing what they need to to save them. It shouldn't be on Israel who watched their people get butchered on October 7th.